time for mail call. How is the military going to train the soldier of tomorrow? Well, the answer is pretty simple. Video games. At the University of Southern California's Institute of Creative Technology, researchers are working on advanced simulators equipped with artificial intelligence. Unlike tank or fighter jet trainers, which focus on coordination, this next generation of simulators test decision-making ability. The researcher is trying to decide if an injured Bosnian civilian should be medevac to a hospital. He has to figure out how to deploy the forces at his disposal. Roger, 2-6 out. Sergeant, send two squads forward. Martin, move first squad to the fourth squad. You'll challenge. The artificial intelligence characters answer his questions, respond to his commands, like setting up a defense perimeter, and even react emotionally. Where you are going? My son needs help. These characters um, use speech recognition to understand the words that you're saying. Then they use natural language understanding to figure out what those words mean. And then they behave. They talk back to you. They gesture. Fourth squad to challenge. This time, the helicopter was unable to pick up the injured boy since the landing zone had not been properly secured. A news flash at the end lets him know that things didn't go too well. According to a U.S. military spokesman, the delay was unavoidable since the officer in charge lacked enough troops to secure the original landing zone. The military loves these new simulators. Why not? Learning from their mistakes in here should help save a lot of lives out in the field. The situation's getting critical.